this is the tool you need to make the perfect tokenomics for your project. If you are launching a token, this is for you. I came to explain Auto Tokenomics CSV. It's a free tool, a free Excel. I will share with you if you want to grab your tokenomics in the easier way. I will explain you how to grab your tokenomics. I will show you example of successful tokenomics that made pretty nice in the market and how you can use this example and this tokenomics calculator to make the most of your tokenomics and the most of your token launch. So here we have the CSV. Once you receive it, you will see this. Okay, this is like the home page of the CSV. And here you have some pre info. Here you have how to create your own version to edit it because this will be blocked for you. You will only be able to view this CSV. So you need to click in here and click on make a copy. Once you do this, you will have a new empty CSV. You will also be able to get a filled example the auto tokenomics i used for launching stream okay or on imicoin that we launched and it's filled with all the information about stream okay here you have it's filled so if you want to see an filled sample you can use this as well anyways in this case i will explain you how to use it from scratch okay without everything empty so you can make the most of it, as I said, for your token launch. First of all, what we have is summary. Here we have different pages where we will see different information. Okay, but the first one is not needed. If you already watched this, you, don't, you can skip this because I, here you have some tutorials and some tips. But once we finish with it, we can just click in here and click on delete. So we won't have this page that is not useful. Then we go to, with summary. Summary is like, yeah, the summary of for tokenomics. We need to fill some information in here uh, for clarification, but some other information will be automatically set. So first we need to do is set the current sold price or the current currency that you are gonna use price. So in this case, I use sold, which is the most usual for making your pre-sale on your launch. So we go to CoinMarketCap and the current price of Solana is 160 so I will put here 160 perfect this is for calculation and to calculate perfectly different things like the market cap the liquidity pool the total value logged etc etc so in here we also have some information that we need to fill for example the pre-sale start the funding date and the liquidity pool launch okay we can set this date just for clarification for ourselves to know the different schedules we have or we may have. So I will select a random date for this. Okay, let's say that we will make um, each them one different day and we can set here if they are done so we can track the task we need to do. Then we can go directly to fill or token data. Here you have a link to create your token. Okay, if you don't know yet, Smithy is a tool suite where you can create and launch your token, liquidity pool, pre-sale, etc. Everything without coding. So if you need to create your token, to create your sale, create your liquidity pool, you can go directly from here. Anyways, once we have our token created, here you have a tutorial on how to uh, the token and the liquidity pool. But if you already have that, you just need to fill the information in here. So I will use shrimp example, okay, because I already launched it and I have all the info in my mouth. So, I will use shrimp, the ticker is shrimp. This is just for us, okay? This is not, this is also useful, not for anything in tokenomics at all, just for let us know and have a track on the information if we may need them in the future. I will add supply, which is 1 billion, okay? Perfect. The decimals, the description, and the contact. The contact address, you can find it on your wallet. And the deployer wallet is the wallet, the authority. Okay, the way that have the authority out of the token, here we have it, perfect. Okay, so now we have all this info field and we don't need to change this. Okay, this will be automatically changing based on the info we put here. For example, we have add supply and it has already added some information that we didn't have. So the next step would be going directly to tokenomics. Okay, let me make it smaller. In here you have 
the tokenomics we know, no? the graph with all the information and the different allocations and percentage we can allocate to different categories or use case. So for this, I've prepared some example of tokenomics and some website where you can check tokenomics of other famous tokens. Okay, this is CoinCarp. In here, you can see the initial tokenomics of different tokens. For example, here you have Bonk. Okay, and also here you have the example of tokenomics at TGA. Okay, at the launch, for example, Gito, here we have Parcel, etc. We can really differentiate the tokenomics of serious project or utility project, like this kind of project, for example, Jupiter or Gito, than meme coins tokenomics. Usually, meme coins are the, between 70 to 90 percent of the spread to liquidity pool. You make 10 to 20 percent to eyedrops, and our team have 5 to 10 percent allocation so far or directly zero allocation for team and then you buy on secondary. In this case, for example, our tokenomics on streams was 10% pre-sale, 10% airdrop, 80% liquidity pool. Okay, so it is what it is, okay? But you can check other examples and find the best for you. In this case, this is your decision, but here you have information on how you will distribute it. You can also see the circulating supply on launch. It means the current supply which is in the market during the launch because you usually lock tokens, you keep the team allocation which is not in the market available, etc. etc. So we can also check this. And at the end of the day, you can also check the graph once you change this. For example, it's usual that the utility token also allocate money to advisors, allocate a percentage to marketing. This is important to know because most KOLs, okay, most influencers, if they are quality ones, they will ask you for money, for Solana, for USDT, USDC, and a percentage of your supply if they want to chill or promote your meme coin. Take care because this is really risky, uh, but it's good to know. Uh, you can also keep a percentage for the treasury, etc. In this case, the most usual, I would say, which is adding 80 5% to liquidity, you can make a 5% pre-sale and a 10% hydro, for example, and then you buy on secondary if you want, and, or you keep a percentage of the sale, it depends on you. Anyways, once we set this, we will have different changes in other pages, which are for pre-sale, for liquidity pool, and for hydro. In the sale page, we can calculate how much we want to raise, which will be the sale price, and how to adjust the liquidity pool launch basis on how much we raise. Okay, so if you see here, you can see the allocation based on the percentage we set on tokenomics, and we can set which is the amount of sol we wanna raise. For example, I will say 100 sol as hard cap, which is okay. And now we can set which should be the price, the price on Solana. So let's put with this, you can play a lot, okay? Um, I will add one zero more for wireless, for example. This is the minimum amount and the maximum amount for Solana. Okay, if you need to see examples, you can go directly to the field examples. Uh, you will have it in the description and you can copy that and see which is the uh, a good option and start playing. Okay, anyways, the minimum buy I will say which is 0 0.1 sol and the maximum buy will be result for example this is the amount that people will get per buy it means how much tokens will i get if i buy 0.1 sol okay and here we have the sale price on usdc then <clears throat> we can go directly to lp launch uh, the total raise amount should change when you finish the pre-sale but let's say that we sold out so i will put 100 sol based on, on the goal we have and the hardcap we have. So once we set the total raise sold, we can set how much we will add from our pocket. So for example, we can add 100% of the amount raised or we can add less, 50, for example. Okay, uh, in this case, we will add 100% and we can add another 100 Solana if we want. So we will be adding 200 sold. Then we need to take on account from this money we have available, how much we need to pay. In this case, for creating the liquidity pool, we have three sold, which is a fixed 
amount so far you can create your liquidity pool and smith it and the cost we will have for airdrop so in here we now can see the liquidity pool launch price on solana and the liquidity pool launch price on usdc as we can see for sure uh, the price difference is not positive at all the most usual is getting at least 10 to 50 percent more expensive on liquidity pool so we give a profit or a benefit to people buying on preset. If we see here the example for stream, we have a 66% price difference, so it's kind of more healthy for people buying on preset. Anyways, next step uh, would be the liquidity pool. In this liquidity pool details, we will have a kind of summary of the previous page, okay, because we already set the conditions for the liquidity pool launch, so it's the same in here, but we have some interesting data that we have for example the launch market gap we will get based on the launch price we get in here so if we don't set this previous sale data okay we'll put zero we will delete this um this will be empty so we need to fill it manually in the case we won't make a pre-sale so uh the funding amount we set how much for sure because it's from our pocket we will say 100 solana once we set the launch price, we have here the launch market cap and we need to fill this information as well. Okay, not the total basis sold. If we didn't raise anything, we put zero, okay? And the funds we add, we will need to put 100. Once we fill the other funds, the allocated for liquidity pool, we will have the allocation, which comes from the tokenomics. And we have the tokens to be added based on that as well. So, these are the final results and amount we need to add once we are filling the information for the pool. We come here to create liquidity pool. Here we need to send the amount of the base token, which will be our token, and the code token. So we need to fill these two, um, these two inputs. Okay. We can also set the tick size under the size, so we have we can have the idea once we are creating the liquidity pool. Here you have a guide link based on the supply of your token. For example, in my case, it will be 100 and 0 0.000000071. So I will put here 100 and 0 0.000000001. Okay, I can change this, and here we have the information to fill later on or tool. Now we also have the liquidity pool launch price in here based on the data we put and the liquidity pool launch price on USD, the launch market cap on SOL and USDC as well. So we will be launching our token with 20,000 so far USD, USD as launch market cap. If we want to use the airdrop details, if we are making an airdrop, this is really useful because we will be able to calculate how much we are expending and how much will each wallet be receiving. So, for example, if we are allocating 100 million to airdrop, which is what we stated on tokenomics before, we can change this whenever we want. Uh, we can set how much wallets will receive our wallet or airdrop. For example, let's say that we will airdrop to top 7,000 holders of Pong. If I put here 7,000, we will see the total cost, which will be 20 sol based on the fees per transaction. Take an account that Solana have a fee per transaction when we want to transfer a token that the receiver wallet don't have yet is 0.002. Okay, you can also create a claim site and you won't have this fee because it will be people who will pay this fee when they claim the token instead of making the idol. Anyways, here you have the amount of tokens that each wallet will receive and how much money they will receive okay how much solana based on the price we set and based on uh, based on usdc price launch which is this one if you expect uh, or you change these amounts once you launch the token and it goes up you will see that this is much expensive for sure take an account that uh, on launch is the Take on account that launch that is the cheapest moment for a token because uh, snipers will snipe it and it will go up and then if it goes well it will go up if the on the roof or every sniper sell it will go down for sure but if it's a successful launch it will go up so these amounts can go up as well for example um the airdrop of bonk on, Sol on saga holders now cost around $1,000 and when it was made was around $100.
so that's the difference and it wasn't in the lounge it was later so if you need to make more cases of airdrop and calculate different things you can just copy this and paste it here and make another case airdrop case 3 I drop into less to more wallet and calculate which is the best option for you okay if you are going to make a claim site it will only cost 0.1 solana so you can change this 0.1 and you have the difference uh, and the different summary paste it on that cost which is useful as we have filled all the information if we go back to summary now we will have all the information for our launch which is useful once we want to see everything in a look so here you have all the information summarized and you can change whenever you want this and adapt it to your project so this has been tokenomics calculator the tool you needed the excel you needed to craft your tokenomics from scratch as you can see it's really simple to make it happen with this tool you can get it for free you will have the link in the description again if you don't have it yet and you can focus on the important the business we will take care of your text if you want to create your token if you want to create your liquidity pool and we also take care of your tokenomics if you didn't know how to make them properly anyway that's all for today thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one bye bye